ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट हाउ टू मेक स्विमिंग पूल वाटर इन 3ds max एंड वीरे सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ स्विमिंग पूल ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट यू नीड टू डू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मेक अ बॉक्स ओके नाउ लेट्स टेक सम स्टैंडर्ड साइज ऑफ द स्विमिंग पूल Length 20 feet, width 40 feet, and height let's say 6 feet. Okay, so you can take these uh, dimensions as per your uh, drawings, your conventions. Okay, so I have made this box. Actually, I am making the empty space for the swimming pool. And for this, first of all, this is one of the way. There are many other ways to make this thing. by creating walls but this is one of the way so first of all you will be making this box now convert this thing into editable poly now selecting polygon the top polygon right click on that and then you can click on insert then holding the left mouse key you will be dragging down move the mouse downwards so it will create some boundary on the outlines you can see the thickness is being shown right now coming out of the command again selecting it now right click again on to it now from these options you will be clicking on extrude now this kind of sign will be there on your cursor now draw hold the left key of the mouse and move downwards so it is up to you how you want to give the depth to the swimming pool so as per my convenience i am making this much depth i am providing this much depth to the swimming pool okay now by uh clicking over here i am now out of the one now you can see this is uh, an empty space where we can create swimming pool and we have to create the water that is filled into this one so the one way is first of all going to the top view by pressing t key now you can see this is the top view of the swimming pool i have to make the effect of water click on this plane take this plane you can see the cursor now make some dimensions for this plane let's say this is within the a uh, size of the swimming pool now you can see a plane has been created but it is at some depth so i am giving some height to this one now you can see you can move this in this way also by pressing w key you will be having this availability of the arrow keys with which you can move the objects okay now you can see closely so it's entirely up to you at what uh, point you want to give the water level it's up entirely up to you now let's say i am giving it at this point so when you will be providing this plane into the swimming pool you will be having only a few segments follow this cursor see let's say you will be having only these segments four length segments with segments 4 and 4 or 1 or 1 it is it depend upon what the last thing you have made on to your system so for this swimming pool you have to increase the segments to some higher values more the number of segments more smoothness will be there into the water like you have to give some ripples in the water some waves in the water okay So more the segments will be there, more smoother render will be there. So let's say I have increased this to 80 and 80 on both directions. Okay, entirely up to you. You can give 100 also. So it depends upon your machine how much powerful your machine is. Now you can see a small small boxes. Small that means it is these are the segments of the. Plane. Okay. Now, once the segments has been assigned to the plane, you have to uh, give one modifier. Go to this modifier. Okay. 
now you have to use noise you have to provide some noise into this plane to give and the effect of waves in the water so you can sign the, as i am changing the values you can see the change into this plane now going to into strength column you have to give some value to the z axis okay it is entirely up to you now give select this fractal okay iteration you have to change these values okay now right now you are unable to see any changes over here <coughs> so let's do some changes with the scale now you can see some waves are forming into the into that plane now you can see and see so entirely up to you you need to provide some of the values depending on what kind of uh, effect you want to give into the work so according to me this is uh, enough mm, okay so according to me this is enough so depending on how much depth of the water is there how much what is the size of the swimming pool the waves will be dependent on that right now uh, i have given this effect into this one coming out of this uh, command now we need to give some other uh, uh, some materials to this one let's say this uh, entire uh, surface is made up of some tiles so clicking i have already selected this material so you can take this material from this v-ray tool or click on this will be having an option of tiles so i have taken this one tiles for the surface of the swimming pool right so we dragging and putting it over the material editor assigning right and you can see the tiles has been assigned so you can use the uv map for uh, setting the ratio dimensions of this these tiles uh, let's say go to the modifier click on uv map this one select the gizmo then box over here now by pressing r key you will be moving over your uh, down to this command so you can change the size of these tiles you can see into the both direction you need to set the ratio right now you can see little bit it is better but by putting some dimensions length width height you can be more perfect into providing this up right now select the water this plane okay select this water go to the material editor okay you will be selecting v-ray over here and uh, explaining you from the very starting from the very uh, default settings like what are the settings with that will be there on your system because this i have already done so this is pre-saved over here into the material editor so First you will select that water, then over here, then you will be selecting V-Ray MTL. So this type of box will be there. So nothing to do after this one, only you need to change the preset over here. Click on water preset, so this will be there on your screen. Assign this material to the water, now you can see there is some kind of transparency over here. But now if I am showing you this thing into the render it won't be visible because no lights has been assigned to the scene. So let's say uh, I am assigning dome light. So going over here you can follow the cursor. Going into the lights, VA light. Okay. So I am assigning a dome light over here. You can place this light any at any point. So it doesn't make any effect right now you can see giving the dome lights into the modifier some multiplier let's say 20 10 depends on what kind of scene you are going to make so i have given some 20 multiplier to its illumination now i have to sign the camera also go to the top view by pressing t click on this camera 
VA camera, VA physical camera, or I'm signing it like this. Okay. Now you can see I am doing some normal adjustment because I want to show you just the scene how the water will look like. Now the camera is set, light is set, all the settings have been signed to this scene. Now going to the V-ray frame of the interactive render. Let's see. Now you can see this water effect is there into the scene. Okay, if I am doing some high setting render, let's say this one. If you want to the render, depend upon how much uh, heavy settings you, are, you have done into the render. It will take time accordingly and will give you the results. So you can see the render has been completed. Now, easily you can see the water effect is there in the pool okay so this is very easiest this is one of the easiest way to get the water effect for the swimming pool for any kind of water body you want to create okay so thank you friends